Milton. Milton, you're so cute with your football bandana. My little linebacker, look at you. He's so big, he'd definitely be on the line. Milton, sit. Milton, sit. Milton. Oh, geez. Come here, Maddie. Sit, Maddie. I don't have a treat. I just want your undying love. Sit, Maddie. Madeline, sit. Madeline, look at me. Good girl. Good girl, matey. Morning, guys. I am up and awake, and it's taken everything that I have to get dressed to work out today. Honestly, it took everything I had to get out of bed. Like, I was laying there, and I was just like, it's so snugly and comfortable. I just want to go back to sleep. But I was like, no, get up. You know you need to. You just know there's no reason for you not to. And so I'm really glad that my inner discipline won. I've been awake for an hour, I've already been working, but now I've got to work out. But before I work out, I gotta have me a zip fizz. And you guys, I'm so excited because I haven't had a zip fizz in like a couple of weeks because I haven't worked out in a couple of weeks. And it's just like, it's so easy to get out of your routine. Like it's so easy to just be like, oh, working out seems so difficult. I won't do it till tomorrow, you know? But I've got to get back into it. It starts one day at a time. And it starts with the zip fizz, okay? So today we are having, bam! Oh, a fruit punch. Oh, it's exactly what I need to get back. Got my hashtag wax wag. My hashtag wax wag. Hashtag, oh my god. My wax wag won't focus, so there's that. Oh my god, it's been so long. I can't even open it correctly. Okay, okay. Also, all of my regular shaker bottles have keto chow in them right now, so I'm using my uh, keto palooza shaker bottle. I have no idea why they needed to make the top this high like that like i have no idea why they needed to do that all right guys let's get ready to shake it in three two one this morning instead of faking it till i make it i'm gonna shake it till i make it you know what i'm saying to a good day to just get him back into the routine to discipline to embracing the suck to to knowing that it's going to be difficult but knowing that you have the strength to overcome it and then knowing how much more fulfilling that'll be when you end up doing it anyway, okay? To doing it anyway. Yes. Mm. Oh, fruit punch. I missed you so much. Les Mills body step. It was a great workout. I only did 30 minutes, but hey, 30 minutes is better than zero minutes. You know what I'm saying? I worked up a great sweat. It felt great to get moving. I'm super proud of myself for pushing through. So I just want to encourage you, push through. It's okay if you don't want to do it. You just have to do it anyway, okay? Push through it. You got this. The keto gel is just so powdery. <laughs> like it's just... I don't think that's the point. That is the point. On like no, there, there's just there's oh, just well, dust yeah. and there's yeah. just powder dust everywhere. I mean, and I try to do a really good job of like pouring yeah, it too. all yeah. into the, you know, like, the bag. but there's still always more granules left. So, uh, <laughs> Tiny said, "What are we smelling? We're smelling the pumpkin spice caramel keto chow. It smells so good." Kathy said, "Hello, Wack fam. Happy Tuesday. Chow dust. That's exactly what it is." Chow dust. Coffee is the smallest part. Like it is the least ingredient I actually put in my coffee. It's chocolate milk. You know, it's, it's almond chocolate milk. It's heavy whipping cream, butter. It's a scoop of collagen or protein powder, and then it's yeah, sweetener. Lord, like I only, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I only put like a. This is coffee yeah, in my coffee. I don't even know why you call that bulletproof. Coffee. Exactly, it's a bulletproof hot chocolate. Let's be honest. With so. coffee added. Okay, guys, I am really excited today because I am once again making another keto bakes recipe. I absolutely loved their sandwich buns the last time I had them. Today we are doing the buttery biscuits. 
I am going to have this with like breakfast today so like scrambled eggs and cheese and bacon I'm gonna try to make some breakfast sandwiches and I'm very very excited about it okay so super simple all you need is four tablespoons of melted butter a third cup of sour cream and two large eggs and then supposedly you're just able to mix this up and it makes eight biscuits for two net carbs each so let's see what they're hollering about Okay guys, here we are. We have breakfast. We got those two biscuits. We got these scrambled eggs that then turned into a delicious cheese blob. And then I got four pieces of bacon. So I don't necessarily know if these biscuits would stand up to me slicing through them. So I am not going to attempt to make a sandwich, but like I am probably gonna like crumble them over everything. And I feel like that would be delicious. But let me go ahead and just take a bite to let you know what these guys taste like by themselves. That is really good. It is soft. It is pillowy. It's a little crumbly like you'd expect a biscuit to be. I slapped some butter or some jam on this in a second. I mean, this tastes really good. See what I'm doing here? Oh, yeah. See, it just crumbled right apart. Oh, my goodness. It's almost like a cornbread. Okay. Mm. Okay, so let's take a piece of egg with the biscuit bits. Oh, my gosh. Just so much yellow. That's my favorite food color. I'm not gonna lie you guys eggs Corn cheese butter yellow is my favorite food color comment down below. What is your favorite food color? Mmm Ooh, the eggs are cheesy and salty, but the biscuit just adds ooh, just such a nice texture Yep, 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 yep. This was great. Great idea So many textures so many flavors this is just microwave bacon. This is fully cooked Costco bacon that I put in the microwave. I like really tough, crispy bacon. So these are like almost bacon chips at this point. Like I can use my bacon as a chip to dip into the scrambled eggs biscuit mixture. Mmm. Wow. I'm very pleased. I'm going to enjoy it. I love this. Okay, guys. These biscuits are delicious here. Let me get you the rest of them that are left. Yes. They are delicious. They crumbled so nicely over my scrambled eggs. Like, I mean, that was so good. You can get 20% off your first order using the code 20 autumn. That's two zero A U T U M N on their website. I mean, just buy everything and get the 20% off. Like just get a sampler pack, right? This stuff is so good. I mean, I am obsessed. Woo! Also, I'm super excited because I was so busy this morning, I did not even get to have my morning snack. You know how I open up the morning with a snack? I didn't get to have that, so right now, I get two desserts. Dessert number one consists of moon cheese and keto chow. This is s'mores keto chow. I tried a little bit of it earlier today. Mm, the flavor is really good. I just don't know if I'm getting like marshmallow or like is it vanilla? Like what am I getting here? Either way, it is creamy. It is delicious. I make my keto chow using two tablespoons of butter, four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and then I put a teaspoon of gelatin in there to make it thicker. I let this sit in the fridge overnight and I mean this is delicious. You can also get 10% off your order of Keto Chow using the link in the description box below. The description box is lit today. I'm gonna enjoy this and my moon cheese, and then I get second dessert. What? Okay, I am finishing the day with two 
perfect keto bars and I could not be happier. They are my absolute favorite. We have salted caramel, we have chocolate chip cookie dough. I have enough room in my macros for like two cheese sticks, but like I don't even want them. Like I am full between the delicious biscuit crumble like egg situation and that keto chow, that's filling, woo. But there's always room for dessert. There's always room for second dessert. Okay, this is what this perfect keto bar looks like. The salted caramel one is very like homogenous. It's like a tan bar. Nothing special to look at. Mm. I love the consistency. It's like a little chalky, a little crumbly, but it kind of fades to like a creaminess. Mm. I'm gonna have these and then I am closing my eating window and just water and assorted beverages for the rest of the day. Mm. Okay guys, I am calling it a day. I did have a Diet Pepsi earlier and then I had a lot of water today, so that's fine. I'm finishing off the day with a Canada Dry. It's a zero sugar. It used to say Diet Canada Dry, but now they say zero sugar. I don't care. It still tastes delicious. Super crisp and refreshing. Overall, today was a great eating day. Like, those biscuits were amazing. My little eggs and cheese and bacon. Like, it was just so great. This is gonna be an awesome week for meal prep. I'm so excited. That's it. Oh yeah, keto chow. I was like, I don't have anything else to say. My keto chow is delicious. I'm looking forward to having different flavors throughout this week. So, I'm very pleased with meal prep this week. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, watch out on keto. I will catch you all next week. Bye. It's super, super green. <laughs> like Ruby Rod from uh, like the fifth element. Green, super, super green, super, super green. <laughs> sit your butt on the ground. No, sit. I mean, I would say good boy, but that's just not true. It's not true. You're not a good boy, Milton. Oh, but you're so cute.